Okay, so for this video, I decided to take an early morning walk around Gloucester Park to show you what it's really like in person. As I walk around the outskirts of the park, I'm going to fill you in on some of the details. If you visit Gloucester Council's website, you'll see they describe the park as a busy and popular 11 hectare open space. That makes it sound pretty good. They also go on to say the park has formal sports facilities and is home to cricket and bowling clubs, facilities for informal sports like basketball, football and skateboarding, has a children's play area, a cafe and some toilets, has surfaced footpaths and plenty of seating to chill out, has flower beds, mature trees and a memorial garden, and has historic statues and monuments. From my experience, however, I would describe Gloucester Park more as pretty dangerous place to walk or hang out alone, especially after dark, and a poorly maintained open space with loads of litter, dog turds, drug paraphernalia, and who knows what else you need to watch out for. That might sound a little bit harsh, but googling news stories related to Gloucester Park, here are some of the headlines that popped up. Someone got KO'd in a fight, there was another incident of someone being assaulted, that was a woman being assaulted while taking a stroll with her kid. Police are asking for help after another assault. Someone was swinging a machete around and seemingly hurt someone. And three men suffered head injuries in a brawl. On the plus side, looking at the crime stats for January of this year, things are off to a fairly quiet start. It looks like there were just 11 reported crimes in and around the park. You may have noticed I crossed over a road there. This is because the skate park and basketball courts are located just over the road. This is actually a pretty decent space for skating. I visited it early in the morning so that the stoners were asleep, but it does get pretty busy in the afternoons. Personally, I don't mind graffiti, as long as it's kept to the places where the people doing the tagging are hanging out. But let's be honest, these aren't the best examples of street art. Here's a shot of the basketball court. And this abandoned shopping trolley speaks volumes for me. Popping back over the road, this is the east entrance into the park. That's the exercise equipment there. It looks like something you'd find in a prison yard, doesn't it? In the distance, that's the kids' play area. But for the most part, as you can see, Gloucester Park is just a large open area. It's great in the summer because you can bring a blanket and picnic and chill out. But it's just a boggy marsh in, in the winter like now. Here's a water feature, which is probably one of the monuments they spoke about. But as I get closer to it, you can see that it probably hasn't been operational for years. Situated near to the north entrance, this is probably the main monument of Gloucester Park. It's a statue of Robert Rakes, the founder of the Sunday School movement, apparently. Well that about wraps it up, I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of Gloucester Park. I'm sure you're going to pop in yourself now if you're in the area. Before you go, please don't forget to press that subscribe button to be notified when we release new videos. We have some interesting and weird locations on our to-do list coming up over the coming weeks. So, uh, catch you later.